All right, so we're gonna do some dry needling on the back of Kurt's shoulder. Um, we're gonna work the posterior middle deltoid first to help him with this shoulder problem that he's been dealing with, just pain in the back of his shoulder. Not anything that's coming past the elbow, but sometimes does pr produce some referred pain out here to the side. Um, so we're gonna come in here and just find some tender areas and I'll ask him when it's tender. And sometimes if we get on a trigger point, it'll actually refer just with pressure onto it. He's a pretty tough dude. He's in pretty good shape. He doesn't have any weakness in his shoulder. It's not really severe shoulder pain. So he's not gonna like exclaim out that it's really tender, but the first spot we're gonna be is right here. So just sliding up right onto the posterior delt. And then a little needle pressure, which makes it go in easier. You saw it twitch right away there. So this is a pretty superficial one. Sometimes we'll get that initial twitch. And then when we get down there a little bit deeper there, you can see it there. And that is a unique sign of a trigger point. So even if you're pressing on your body at home, like pressing on a certain tender area and you feel like it kind of contracts a little bit, um, that's called a muscle twitch reaction, which is, like I said, unique to a trigger point. What I'll do is I'll work the needle around. Um, you'll call it pistoning and dry needling until it stops, and then we'll pull the needle out, just a little pressure there. No blood with it at all. How did it feel, Kurt? It, it twitched. It twitched, yeah. It was not super painful, though, is it? No. Yeah. Um, sometimes it will be painful if you have like some pretty significant discomfort in that area already. If you have a tendinopathy type injury to the muscle where it's just really irritated, inflamed around that um, tendon of the muscle, it can be painful. But usually in the back of the shoulder area here, it's just more surprising when you get needled there than actually being painful. So we're gonna move a little bit anterior on the shoulder here kind of this posterior middle delt junction. Again, a little pressure. There we go, there's another twitch. So just because it twitches doesn't mean that there's something severely wrong with your shoulder. I can typically dry needle any muscle and find a trigger point in it, but is that trigger point contributing to your discomfort? Is it limiting your range of motion? Is it causing referred pain? Um, and is it an area of complaint? So dry needling is effective, not just for injuries, but it also um, can help with performance enhancement. It can help just to loosen you up. I mean, you don't really have to have really bad pain to use dry needling. I mean, it has a lot of benefits and that's why you see especially CrossFit guys um, and then professional athletes use dry needling as part of their kind of body maintenance wellness program.